One of the great things about PHP is how easy it is to quickly make a change to our source code and push it up to our production server without having to recompile the code first. This can also be a huge downside because it's easy for us to push code that has syntax errors that will go unnoticed until the request needs to use that file and then our users will get an error. Thankfully, we can use the linter mode built into PHP to verify that our code is syntactically correct so we won't get these kind of errors in production. And in this video, we'll discuss how to integrate it into our workflow. Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. How this can help. Let's discuss a real world example that happened to me. I was working on a new feature that required me to edit a class. In this case, we'll call it the user service class. I made my changes and went to commit my code. When I did so, I accidentally deleted the second S in class. Git, without a pre-commit script running static code analysis tools, allows this change to happen, and I push my changes to our production server. Uh, then the calls started pouring in. About 10% of our users were performing an action that required this class, and they were getting an error page instead of what they were expecting. Thankfully, we quickly determined what happened based on the error logs, but vowed never to let it happen again, locally from the command line. The solution to our problem is already built into the PHP command line tool. With a dash L switch, we can have PHP load a file to verify its syntax, but not run it. This is called linting the file. This might be the easiest static code analysis tool to add to our workflow because it's included with the PHP command line tool that we already use every day. So no additional installations are required. By running the PHP command on our user service class, we can see the error now, locally from editor. The best option is for us to, to run this automatically inside our editor as we type. Thankfully, a lot of modern editors will automatically display linting errors in the editor. Visual Studio Code will display our error using the little red squiggly line at the point of the error. We can then hover our cursor over the error to see exactly what the error is. Pre-commit. We can easily add the PHP linter to the pre-commit script we created in using pre-commit hooks for static code analysis. We recommend making it the first script to run the file because if the change files don't pass the linting step, they'll most likely fail la later tests. It's generally the fastest check per file as well, as it's only checking to see if the file is valid and not running anything else on it. If you don't feel like typing this in, as it is rather lengthy, you can find it in the article linked to in the description. Test CI server. The mildly annoying part about the linting option is that it will only run on one file at a time. This can be a problem when we finally set up our testing or continuous integration server. There are two solutions to this problem. The first is that we can use the find and xarg command line tools to run it on all of the PHP files inside of our project. This works and is easy to implement, but its downside is that it's running each file in sequence. So if two files are failing the linting check, we'll get the first one, but not the second one, so we have to run it multiple times to find all of the problems. The alternative is to use the PHP Parallel Lint project, which, not surprisingly, runs a lint check on multiple files at the same time, which both speeds up the checks and shows all of the errors in the files inside of our project instead of just the first one. To us, the only downside to PHP Parallel Lint is that it's another dependency we have to update in our project, but that's a very small price to have pay to, for having a much better solution. What you need to know. The PHP command line tool can verify the syntax without executing the file. Look to how to integrate this into our code editor in order to maximize our performance. We can use PHP parallel lint to run a lint check on all of the files in our repository and get all of the errors at once. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure you subscribe, comment, and like as it does help others find us. If you want to help support the channel, find us on Patreon. We would love it, and we'll include your name in our list of supporters in each video. Have you used the lint check to prevent problems in your application? Let us know in the comments below. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV, signing off and reminding you to keep coding.